Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, Miss. How are you doing today? Good evening, Miss. Good evening, welcome. Thank you very much for your punctuality. Because we know that is very, very important, right? But I'm gonna send a message to your classmates because they haven't connected to the class. Wait a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> because I see a few students connected to the class, so, and a lot of students are telling me they are gonna be oyentes, they are gonna be listeners. Why is that? What's happening today? ¿Qué pasa hoy? What's happening? Well, anyways, thank you very much to the ones that connected on time, to the ones that are punctual to the class. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for being here. Now, we're going to continue. Wait a minute. Okay, so as you know, we are in the unit number two. And we are four weeks to finish, like, because next week, if I believe so, we're only gonna have classes on Monday because then it's vacation, as you know, right? So we're gonna be having like vacation since, I believe Tuesday the first, then the second, the third and the fourth, that's gonna be the vacation. And then we're gonna come back to classes again on Monday, okay? So just for you to know, because I think it's like that. 20 and 30, so then we have Monday. Yeah, and Monday, correct. So we're gonna have only one class on Monday, okay? Then we don't have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, wait, Thursday and Friday, and then we have classes again on Monday. So after this week, we only have one class, that is the 31st, and then we come to classes again on the 7th. Okay, so we come to classes on August the 7th. And then we're gonna be like as normal, finishing around the 23rd and the 24th, okay? So that's for you to know, just to be sure about it, okay? Let's see, now with the attendance of today, because today is Tuesday 25th, I'm gonna start with today's attendance because it's time already. And I send a message to your classmates, but they are not coming to the class, which is weird. Remember, every minute counts. I send this. Wasowski. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so once again, welcome to the class. Good evening, and we're going to start with the attendance. Let's go. So, Ana Veronica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. 
Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, Miss Present. Okay, Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present, Miss. Jenny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Johnny was connected, but I think he's a listener. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. He's connected. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present, Miss. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. I am here, Miss. Good night. Good evening. Good night. No, too early. <laughs> Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Excellent. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. <clears throat> Present, Miss. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Okay. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Eh, Omar Seth Galicia López. Amado Javier Ruti Rivera. Present, Miss. Excellent. So, I don't know. So, you, you see, this is the thing. Eh, a lot of students want to learn English. A lot of people, they want to learn English, right? So, but the problem is every module in every step, they are going to have more difficulties, more things to do. And here's the situation. At the beginning, you are enthusiastic. At the beginning, you are expecting. At the beginning, you want to learn English and you are motivated, right? But remember what I told you. Motivation is not gonna make you finish the English levels, right? You're not gonna complete them. Once you are, like, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you're motivated, that's gonna be for a short time, short time. But discipline, right? Discipline. That's what is gonna make you learn English. Because a lot of students start. Let's see, I have, a, how many students do I have here? I have 24, 25 students, okay? There are supposed to be 25 students here. There are 15 students connected, you see? So that means that we have 10 students who are not here in the class. Well, now nine students that are not here in the class. And that's maybe not because they don't have motivation, but maybe because they are lacking a little bit of discipline, right? Remember that being here is very important and you are going to learn English. Yes, you're gonna learn English. But to learn English first, what you have to do is to practice, to come to the classes, to keep motivated, right? Remember, no hay peor momento para retirarse de aprender inglés que ahorita, right? Están en intermediate. Ustedes están en intermediate. You want to go back to beginner? ¿Quieren volver todo el camino a beginner? Y eso pasa cuando una persona se retira. Y digamos, en enero quiere volver a retomar, no va a retomar en intermediate. Va a retomar en beginner, right? 
So you wanna go back all there, all the way there? No, we don't. We want to be intermediate level, right? And then advanced level. So, but right now, if you take a step back, si toman un paso atrás, if you take a step back, you're gonna go back to the beginner, right? And to start again, y volver a empezar de nuevo, that's something that we don't want, okay? So try to focus, focus on what you're doing and pay attention. So yes, sometimes I know it's difficult. Believe me, I know it's difficult because sometimes I'm really tired and I know that you're tired as well because we are all adults here. So that means we all work during the day and at night we are tired, right? So we are tired and that is understandable. That is completely understandable. But what do we have to do? Pay attention. Hey, I don't want to go back to beginner. I don't want to go back there. Yo quiero estar aquí. I want to be here. I want to be here in this class and I want to be doing what I'm doing, okay? So that's what we have to understand, okay? So anyways, let's go back here to, um, to the book. And I hope you're working on the platform as well. Uh, we have a vocabulary part, okay? So this is on page, let me see, 19, okay? This is on page 19. So this is what we have. We have the meanings, or I mean the words or the concepts, and here are the meanings, right? The meanings. So we have to match the concepts or the vocabulary terms with the correct um with the correct uh, meaning, right? So for example, sight and handling test. Sight and handling test, what is that? Oh, these are different, oh, these are different testing uh, methods. So you're gonna match the method with the meaning of the method, okay? So one, two, three, whatever you want it, okay? So take a screenshot if you can send it to the breaker, uh, I mean to the WhatsApp group, that will be perfect. And we're gonna work on the breaker rooms on this activity to finish it. Uh, I know there are some classmates that are listeners. For example, I think Jennifer is one, Johnny is another one, and I think Ramiro is another one, okay? So be careful with those because they are listeners today. Okay, go ahead. Miss, I'm sorry. I don't have team. Okay, what happened? You were assigned to the breaker room too. Yeah, but I you I have it? a yeah, uh missing I closed the Oh you closed the tab. Okay. Yeah. Tab. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to breaker room one, but don't join to that breaker room, okay? Don't accept. When I send you to the breaker room, you accept, okay? To the breaker room too. Denis and Oseas, welcome to the class. So your classmates right now are working on this. They are matching the testing methods with the correct uh, meaning. I'm gonna send you to okay. a breaker room so you can help them, okay? Okay, thank you.
No. Number three. Number two, para mí sería number... Number three. Yeah. Dice que el producto se lo llevan a su casa para usarlo. Uh -huh. Entonces la prueba de uso, pienso yo que es eso. Sí. Number three. Sería la the prueba de one, uso. The next one is uh, seven. Esta, esta, no, la de abajo, esa se apega más a lo de la 7. Okay. ¿Qué es, qué es Pirate con Pirate Comparted? Compart ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué es eso? Comparar, ¿Es como comparar pruebas. Yes. Comparar. Vamos bien, yes. vamos bien. Thank you, Miss. Ya nos dio más alas todavía. El 7 es de comparar. excelente. Sí. Blind yeah, test. In number in number three says branded test. For me, I think so. I think and the number four is the build test. Build test. <laughs> oh my ah, goodness. Ah, ya ve. Ah, bueno, no. Yay, yay. Yeah, yeah. El dos, ¿dónde está el número cuatro? Number two. Okay. Use the oh, test. Oh, my goodness. No, number one. Ah, mire, de Mayra tenía razón. Vaya. Estaba ahí. Hey, no. Un aplauso, vamos, Mayra. Pero Give nadie no consiguió un coro. Give me a blows, please. Yes. Vaya. Un aplauso. Sí, se lo yes. cambiamos, pero no consiguió coro. <laughs> Éramos mal de equivocar. Sí. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. Change them. Change them. One and Fight four. and handling test maybe is, is in the same line. Yeah. Consumers use or site and handle handle one product, then another and are asked.
Hello. If you finished, si ya terminaron, practice with your classmates the pronunciation. Practicamos pronunciation porque hay otro grupo que falta que termine, ¿ok? So, let's go. <sighs> Ah, por aquí okay. se llama. Ahí está. Okay. Sí. Rate our answer. Only two. Only one is correct. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Hmm. For blind test producers, but yeah. No, la misma tenía. Oh. Yeah. <risa> Nos vemos así como les digo, con la tres. Sí, Marín. Yeah. Vaya de la dos de la sí. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the donde está la tres eh, sería las siete, no. I'm sure, but I know. I don't know. Ajá. Mm -hmm. eh, Yo también creo que la tres, donde está la tres incorrecta es la siete. Bueno, no. Es digo. la siete, yeah. No, la mía no, ya lo hizo ahí. Ah, oh, no, ya está, sí. Es que la esa, mía. donde está la tres, es el secuencial, es el seis. Seis. No, seis, espérame, seis compañero. Se me cruzó ahí el número, sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. Veamos. Hay okay. No sean yeah. así, que después de que les di cuatro respuestas, no les voy a poner diez. Ok. No sean así. Ok. Just, just uh, practice pronunciation now, unos two minutes, y luego vamos yes. al grupo. Pero ya las tienen todas correctas, ok. Yes. Ok, Miss, thank you. Dele, dele Mayra, las damas primero. Luego le damos las gracias. Yes. Vaya. Dice, sign in Hamlin Test.
Hello, welcome back. So now we're gonna see. Obviously, everyone got the answers correct. No, because I help you. No, que les haya ayudado yo para nada. ¿Quién? Who, me? No, no, never. So, obviously, let's see. Number one. Sight and handling test. I'm just going to give you that one because you already know it. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for customers to experience. So obviously that is number one. Number two, please, Monica Avalos. Use test. Monica? Hi, um, I don't remember. You don't remember? Were you in the mm. break room? In room one? Room one. Okay. Can some, well, let's see. Sandra, number two. <laughs> number two, use this. Use this. Um, consumer take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period. 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 No, uh, period. As they go useful, use in the type of home. In their own home. Okay, excellent. Good job. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, choose the next participant, please. Okay. Renee. Okay. Okay, number three, consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Excellent, good job. Okay, so um, let's see. Oscar Rene, choose the next participant, please. Um, Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn. Okay, number four, right? Mm -hmm. Blind test. Products are tested on branded, so the customer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Okay, excellent. Good job. Just uh, the next I question. listen customer. Customer, no, it. Consumer. Yes. Uh, yes. You are right. You are right. Consume. Okay. Um, Jose. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Excellent. Jose Alfredo. Jose. Number five. Yes. Number yes. five. Number five is. Uh, oh, method. Method. Ah, perdón. Method. Another method is uh, consumer use the product in real circumstance. They use a product seen, um, seen it, handle it, and write it later. Okay, thank you very much. Choose the next participant, please. Number six. Okay, number six. Um, Oseas, amigo mío. <laughs> okay, Oseas. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Uh, number six, sequential monadic method. Uh, consumers use a product, so product cited and handle handle it. They rate it. Then they use cite handle another product and rate it. The, consumer does not rate both products against each other. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job, Oseas. Choose the next and the last participant. Um, Mayra. Okay, Mayra. No, Mayra, Mayra already went. Mayra ya pasó, ¿verdad? No. 
No, 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 I think she didn't. Mayra. Hello. Okay. Paired comparison test. Um, is the first definition consumer use or sign and handle one product? Then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Excellent. Good job. Excellent, everyone. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, um, because I think there are a lot of vocabulary words here, I'm going to send you an audio with the pronunciations. Okay. Because I think you have new vocabulary words. Number one, sight and handling test. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. Number two, use test. Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they would usually use it in their own home. <laughs> Number three, branded test. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Four, blind test. Products are tested on branded, so the customers focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Five, monadic method. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Number six, sequential monadic method. Consumers use the product, cite it, and handle it. They rate it. Then they use, cite, handle another product, and rate it. The customer does not rate both products against each other. Look at seven, right? Seven, pair comparisons test. Customers used or cite and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Practice pronunciation. Sí, that's what I'm doing. No, you can do it. Si no, tendrían que ir a buscar palabra por palabra y se los envían audios diferentes todavía, sí, más regaladito. Right. So we're gonna go and we're gonna practice. Do we understand? Entendemos? Yes. Yes, exactly, yes. Miss. Exactly. That's what I want. Excellent, my dear students. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let's go. Ana Verónica.
Hello again. So did you have enough time to practice? Yes? Okay. Yes. So now let's check some pronunciations. Uh, let's go back. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So this is, wait, wait a minute. This is seven. This is five. This is two. This is three. This is six. This is one. And this is four. Okay. So let's see the pronunciations. Let's see. Um, Julio Aguillon, read number one again, please. Buy and handle test. This test is a good option when there are significant tactical or, or visual element of the problem of customer experience. Consumers, right? Uh, Oscar yeah. said that there's consumer, right? Yes, consumer. Yes. Okay, Oscar, help me with number two, please. Number two. Consumers take their products to be used. Teacher as a sample of form and extended period of they will usually use it is it in their own home. Excellent. Let's see, Angela, can you help me with number three? Okay, branding test. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Good job, thank you. Um, Oseas, number four, please. Blind test. Products are tested on branded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Excellent, good job. Okay, let's see. Tennis, number five, please. Ah, Dennis, your microphone is off. Oh. I'm sorry. A monadic metal. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. The user product is things is handled in a right is later. Okay, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Ah, cite it. Cite it, handle it. Cited. Handle it. And rate it later. And rate it later. later. Excellent, mm -hmm. good job. Let's go with number six, Ana Veronica. Consumers use a product. No, read the, read the method, please. What, what, what? Primero el, 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 ah, el, perdón, el, perdón. el, el concepto. Yes. Sequential monadic method. Consumers use a product, cite it and handle it. They write it, then they use cite, handle another product and write it. The consumer that does not rate both products against each other. Excellent, good job, thank you. Blanca, number seven. Pirate com comparison test. Consumers use or seek and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Which of the two they prefer. Okay, thank you very much, Blanca. Good job. Now, so here is the situation. Okay, I'm going to do an activity right now. So we have products, right? And we have, uh, I'm sorry, we have products and we have services, right? 
For example, this is a product, right? This is a product. But what I'm giving you is a service, right? Teaching English is a service. What Sandra does, Sandra sells a product or Sandra sells a service? Service. Therapy. Service, Therapy. right? So let's think no about, what is it, Oscar? No tangible service. Tangible okay. product. Okay, exactly. Good job. So let's think about different areas we have here. Let me let's just wait for it to charge. Okay. Let's do it. So, hotel service. English classes. New laptop. App. In okay, so here we have five different things customers have one, two, three, four, five different things the customers have, okay. And they have these things and they can use these things or they can buy it, right? They can buy a service or they can buy a product, right? So now, an app, so this is very interesting, an app. What do you consider an app? Is that a product or is that a service? Service. It's a service? Okay. It's a software. It's a software. It's a, it's a product. Oh. But it's a product, a product. right? Product. At the same time, it's a product. Because WhatsApp... Yeah. Yes. Es algo que no puedo tocar realmente así como... Ah, esto es un WhatsApp, right? But yo uso WhatsApp, right? I can see through WhatsApp. Yo puedo darle un uso y calificarlo, right? So in that case, we need to think about it. So what I want you to do, listen. Listen to this. I'm going to give you the instruction. If you don't understand, you can tell them. Okay, the first instruction is this. We have five services, okay? Hotel service, English classes, new laptop, apps, a new dish at a restaurant. Now, I want you to tell me which ones of the testing methods, okay, work better with each one and tell me why. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Does everybody, everyone understand? Repeat again, please. Okay. So I'm giving yes. you, Sandra. Excuse me, excuse me. Continue. Después le pregunto. I'm giving you the five services or products, and you have the different testing methods, like the monadic method, the branded method, and all those stuff. So you're gonna tell me. Which method works better, funciona mejor, with what product or service? Con qué producto o qué servicio? Got it? Yeah? You show, could you show the five services and products, please? With the, with the five services and products, yes. Yeah. What is uh, it, Angela? I want to I wanna take a, a picture. Oh, yeah. You want me to show them? Okay. Okay. Sandra, what was the question or the comment? Okay, Miss. In English class, what method you use in English? Class? I don't know. You're going to tell me. <laughs> Example, Miss, please. No, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna let you be. Le voy a dejar ser. Now you tell me. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss. Okay. Excellent. Do we get it? Yes. Excellent. But also, no tell me only this. Ah, eso lo es de profe. Todo lo es de mis profe. Estoy como en la escuela. Algunos niños dicen, los chiquititos dicen, profe. <laughs> so, listen. Not only this one and this one and this one. No. You're going to tell me why. Me van a dar por qué. Por qué funciona con ese método, ese servicio o producto. Yes. 
Yes. Got, yes. got it. Yes, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Necesito hacer estas cosas bien, porque si no, los grupos no me funcionan, no me furulan. Na, 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 na. Okay, let's go. Si no funciona el grupo, me dice. You tell me if your group doesn't work. Eh, Blanca, Rafael, let's go.
Hello. What happened, Rafael? Lose my connection. What group were you in? I don't remember. It's with Sandra. Sandra. Okay, number one. Ahí también lo que puede hacer mejor abrirle más espacio y ponerle una imagen en cada en cada opción. Wow, it's good. Yes, I like it. Yeah, you can add a picture. You can add pictures. Yeah, that will be fine. Hotel service, ¿verdad? Dice ahí, consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. Y aquí dice, los, yo pondría como los consumers saben que ellos están o, o cómo se le daría, cómo le darían este test, o sea, le darían un brochure para que los, o, o un, un checklist para que los califiquen, le darían una, o, o una encuesta, ¿Cómo, cómo calificarían, qué harían, eso es lo que quiero saber yo, ¿me entienden? A la hora del check-out se les daría como una encuesta para que ellos Ay, califiquen entonces, el servicio. Póngame, póngame ahí en qué momento lo harían, ¿ok? Ok, yes, ok, gracias. Mi. Just that's the same when I did meeting. Ok, y también quiero que me expliques, le voy a explicar esto en español porque ya lo dije en otro grupo. ¿En qué momento usarían el test? Por ejemplo. New dish or restaurant. Me ponen el concepto y todo, ¿verdad? Pero pónganme ahí en cómo le dirían al, al cliente. Mire, fíjese que este es un test que estábamos haciendo y queremos su opinión o cómo queremos su opinión sobre este plato. ¿Qué le pareció? O cómo lo recomendarían o cómo lo harían que el cliente lo pruebe. O sea, eso es lo que quiero saber también, ¿ok? Yes. Okay. Excelente. Okay. 
Okay. Eric, in what group were you in? Uh, hello, Miss. I was with, I don't remember well, but I was with Oseas. And... Okay, number one, number one. Por su pronunciación el manejo. Okay, let me share uh, my experience. Desde chiquita me, me, me ha gustado los idiomas, mm -hmm. el inglés. Eh, primero, la clave es que te guste Pero, el, el idioma. Perdónenme que los interrumpa. Sorry. Hey, yes. so, I just have a question. ¿Ya terminaron la actividad? Yes. 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 Ok, pero también como yes. les dije a los demás, no vayan a hacer que solo me digan el en qué, porque ya hicieron, estaban haciendo unas presentaciones allá en PowerPoint o en Press, y no me acuerdo en qué le estaban haciendo, pero solo me habían puesto el servicio y el test que usarían. Y yo como, no, también pongan ahí este, cómo lo usarían en una situación, por ejemplo. La en... reason and why. Ajá, la, la, en hotel service, ¿cómo lo usarían? O sea, ah, sería una encuesta cuando el cliente... Eh, o se le mandaría una encuesta al correo, o cómo sería, cómo sería, so how you, will you do it, o en el del new dish, le darían una prueba gratis, o en el plato que ellos consuman, les, les sugerirían comprar algo nuevo, y decirles que les califiquen qué les pareció, o cómo lo harían, that's what I want to know, ok? Mm. Yes? Ok, miss. Excellent. I'm sorry que les interrumpí, puede compartirles la historia, Mayre, después continúan. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, hello. Only five more minutes, okay? Five more minutes and we come here for the presentations.
Hello. Okay, so let's start with the presentations. The first group is going to be... ¿Quién soy yo para pelear contra el orden natural? Okay, group number one. María, Julia, Omar, Oscar, Osea, Rafael, Ramiro, well, Ramiro is listed there, and Santa, ¿ok? Más que Rafael está ahí presente, ¿verdad? Nos está mostrando así, carita bien facherita, yes, of course, of course. Ok, Rafael, es un de ceremonia, Rafa, porque... Ah, ok, ok, ok. Rafa, lo solicitamos, Rafa. Ya, ya de... Wow. Ahí está. Hasta la foto. <laughs> Le llega a mí. <laughs> Good evening, classmen and miss. Uh, we talk about to five concepts and examples uh, and definition. Uh, we start with uh, Oscar, no? No, me. Who is Sandra? Okay. Sorry, Sandra. Yes. Sandra yes. is Oscar. Okay, thank you, Rafa. Uh, num number one is hotel service, branded test. Customer uh, are aware of the brand they are tying. This test will reflect mm -hmm. real world experience and the value of the brand. For example, carry of the small customer, satisfaction service, when leaving the, the, the hotel. Hotel. Okay, next, hotel. Okay, you, uh, the laptop is foreign comparison, comparison test. Consumers <laughs> use the uh, or sign in handlers or products, then another end are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer to lab. And um, comparison test is the new laptop will deliver, deliver brochure for customers to rate uh, and choice the best laptop. Okay. Okay. English classes? Julia. Julia. The English English class. Branded test. Consumer are, are aware of the brand they are trying the this test better reflects the the real world experience and and the value of the brand for example student satisfaction survey okay so with hotel service and in english classes brand the test yes okay continue yeah. next rafa o o sea Está por ahí, o sea. Yes. No, o sea. no, no. Mine is blind test. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién, ¿quién, ¿Quién era el otro? ¿Quién era el otro que está con nosotros? Monadic Medro. Monadic Medro. Ok. Consumer use the product in real situations. They use a product sin send it. Handle it in Ray Islayo. Give free, for example, give free download in the app in, in the test for a number of days to decide why. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we consider that a good evaluation method of product for a new dish at a restaurant can be blind test. Uh, products are tasted on brandy, so the consumer focuses strictly on the product characteristics and not on the brand name. 
Uh, so if if I want to taste a new product, it doesn't matter the place or company. Uh, I just want to know the characteristics of the product, like smell, flavor, texture, etc. Thank you for your attention and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Give them an applause. That was good. Excellent. Okay, good job. Okay. So that means we go with group number two. Angela, Blanca, Dennis, Jennifer, Johnny, Jose Alfredo, Monica, and Silvia. Acuérdense que ya les dijo Omar que el que no aplaude no duerme en la noche. Porque si no, ahí van a estar con la conciencia que le remuerde toda esa envidia. Right? Yes, correct. Yes. Ya Omar desde ese día, miren, hasta, hasta se, se levanta su ovación y todo. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Good night. Um, Good evening. Night. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. We we try to to present and we have to to make um, our opinion, right? The first one um it's hotel service. We chose, we choose um, site and handling test. I'm sorry, branding test. Um, I think hotel service is uh, it's necessary to have to have um, a good presentation, good image, and a good and a good um, presentation of the hotel. So at the same times the the people who who stay in the in the whatever hotel needs to to taste the products, taste the rooms, taste the food, for example, and at the same time would be use hotel service in um in um I don't know in um a, a specific time in a necessary it's a necessary sometimes. And it would be the same time, it would be um, a good example for the brand and test. Okay, thank you very much, Angela. I tried to develop my my <laughs> my exposition, but I I tried. so my my classmate continue with English classes. Okay, it's okay. Thank you. You did a good job. Okay, Omar, Rafael, next. Okay. Uh, new dishes at a restaurant is a uh, blend and test and uh, is, is that, uh, the, the customer focus on the uh, specific characteristics of the product. Um, um, I say, for example, but but the new product is uh, uh say I uh I would like to uh, introduce the new product. Um, I think you the opinion, for example. The that's it. Okay, Omar, yeah. with new dishes at a restaurant. Try to improve your English. That is that is focus. I don't I know in this class, right? Improve. Yeah, correct. That's good. Okay, who's gonna say the last one? Who's gonna be the last one? Come on, Angela is trying to motivate you. What? Angela, you're trying to motivate your classmates, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to, miss, but sometimes I think it's the panel, all of you. It's the panel, every classmate that I study in here. Yeah. That's yeah. why did we decided to, to study here, right? Yeah, correct. That's good. 
So the last one, new new laptop. What is laptop? <laughs> Maybe laptop. Mm -hmm. New laptop. New laptop and apps that we we decided to the new new laptop and apps. It's the same. It is not the same product because new laptop is a sometime, something that you can touch. And apps, it's like a software and something that I can help you, but but it's like more, it's untouchable. Okay, okay. But here, is most, the, see, here is the question. Only four? No, we, we choose in brand and test. No, no, no. But I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, only okay. four. I gave you five. It's hotel service, English class, new teacher, restaurant. Oh, new laptop and app. You joined them. Oh, got it. Got it, Angela. Now <laughs> I understand. Now I understand what you try to say. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. We we joined, but at the, on the same answer, Brandon test and use a test at the same yeah. time. Right. OK. Yeah, I got it. I understand now. Yes. I yeah. Understand. Uh huh. Because Thank the customer product in real circumstances. So you can see the apps in random test actually would be to value to you are actually competitors. You have competitors with the, with the other brands talking about the new laptops, right? You have a HP and you have Windows, for example, different kind of computers, right? And products of of that so you have to to taste and and value the the better brand okay excellent good job give them an applause that was good yeah improving the english yes good job speaking and improving excellent so excellent we go we go with group number three javier ana veronica jocelyn julio mayra rafael and just them my god Production, production. Wow, it's Barbie animation. Barbie animation. <laughs> <laughs> Living in class. And the, the other service can use the checklist, evaluate the orders, cleaning, and customer service. The method using test because use the room, bell, things, the consumer has experience. Continue, Julio, Mayra. Okay. Well, the second, we can use the survey detecting the quality cost professional teacher. In this case, is the English class. Um, the we answer is the Biden. Um, Biden comparison test because check or we have um tendency to comparison for the academies check the quality professional teacher cause and methodology and select or choose the better academic. Wow, that's a good answer. I like it. Yes. Continue. Okay. Interview yeah. focus group evaluating to product the new laptop. A brand test because the consumer is sign the brand and that ball with the brand. Okay. The software. Okay. Yes, yes, continue, my friend. The software development use the app as proof of pilot test. The product blink test because a lot of people use the apps without knowing it, proof and need functional installing. Okay, in a new dish at a restaurant, we can use the customer survey, uh, sequential test. In this case, uh, apply 
because the stars um shine um touch the 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 new dish taste and the flowers and finally you can pass a survey and evaluate these uh, items finish thank you excellent yes, good job i like the thematic porque estamos como bien Barbie thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah. next time you can do an Oppenheimer. You, you know, there is like a new movie also at Oppenheimer. And so we have the Barbie. Excellent. Good job. Se la Barbie que quiere hacer. Se la Barbie que habla inglés. A mi ritmo. Barbie and Ken. Wow. Barras, barras. Pensa. <laughs> okay. Esa so, ahí andamos cantando la canción de Barbie. La misma pera lo vamos a decir. <laughs> Barras, barras. Yes, I know. Okay, excellent. Good job. You did a good job. Excellent, excellent. That's good. Okay, so very good job to the ones that did a good presentation. Very good job to the ones that try to improve your English. Remember, these activities, yes, it's like we're learning marketing, but it's because we're learning marketing vocabulary, okay? That's what we're learning. We're learning marketing vocabulary. And it's like we are in marketing classes. That's not at all, okay? And what I need you to do is to improve your English. Have more vocabulary. Practice more vocabulary. And speak. Remember, este módulo is about speaking, right? It's about your production of the English language. You write, you speak. You write. You speak. So what I do here is to guide you. Yo les guío, right? I guide you, right? I'm not the protagonista. I'm not the main character. You are the main character, okay? So that's what I need you to do. Remember, hey, y conectémonos más tempranos, please. Oh my God, vieran a las ocho y cinco. Yo estoy aquí como que, um, hello, good evening, hi. Este, aquí me voy a poner a hacer malabares, tal vez así, ¿verdad? Se entretienen más. I don't know, at, ya son las ocho y diez y ya estoy como, ya pasé asistencia, conéctense, conéctense, conéctense. And you don't connect to the class. So, remember, cada minuto de conexión a ustedes les cuenta. No les voy a mentir, I'm not going to lie to you. Les voy a decir cuántos minutos me aparecen conectados allá. Ana Verónica me aparece 120. Ángela, 116. Espérenme, yo le voy a decir a alguien que me parezca. Jocelyn dice 119. Un minutito. Mayra, 93. Y esto es porque yo alargo la clase para que les cuente un minuto más. O sea, 117. O sea, miren hasta eso. Eh, Omar set 101, como los dálmatas. Right? So, Así les van contando los minutos exactos. Aquí no es que este, me conecté, ya dije present, bye bye. No. Here is about the minutes connected to the class. So, por favor, vengamos más temprano. Yo siempre estoy como unos cinco minutos antes, porque ahora son mi único grupo. Así que, please, trying to join the class. Okay? Yo sé cinco minutos antes, dejo aquí la, pa la pantalla cargando por los que se conectan. No es que estoy aquí, ¿verdad? Pero ya a las ocho, yes, I'm going to start. Y les espero todavía hasta las 8 o hasta las 8 y 5 para empezar con la asistencia. Pero please, please connect early to the class, ¿ok? But, um, okay. Let's go. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Ángela Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. No. Eric José Reyes Molina. No. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. José Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. 
Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Walter lo veo, pero no lo escucho. Omar Seth Galicia López. Present, teacher. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Teacher. Present, Miss. Ok. Pues, sí. Para que lo quitemos early, you should bring us cookies every day. Ah, claro, para... yo les traigo galletas, no se preocupen. I will bring you cookies tomorrow. Yes, yes. Si, okay. no, la, si no se las he dado, me recuerdan, busco una imagen ahí y se las mando. Don't worry, ok? okay, okay. Bye, have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye, take care, take care. Bye. Bye, have a good night. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Miss, excuse me. And what about with the with the uh, English Corporativo page? ¿Qué pasa? No estoy trabajando ahí. Mm, yo uh, recuerdo que usted dijo que le recordáramos. <laughs> Sí, ya lo hicimos, la unidad 1 ya la terminamos. Ah, ok, ok. ¿No se conectó? Sí, 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 lo, lo hice, pero como usted dijo, usted me recordó, usted me recordó. Ah, vaya, vaya, recuérdeme, <risa> recuérdeme, pero recuérdeme el, espéreme, hoy, hoy tuvimos la clase número, eh, déjeme ver, la clase número 8, recuérdeme mañana, ¿ok? Okay, okay. Okay, but thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Antes, before and after of the class. Sí, en todo momento recuerde, porque a mí se me chisporrotean los yunques a veces. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Good evening. Good evening.